If you have to get dressed in front of a boyfriend, undressed, are you ever embarrassed or do you know that it looks really good? No, I, I have to get to know them better. Right. Do you go like this because you think maybe they're too small or? Um, no, I don't do that, but I, I think I'm probably shy in the beginning. Right. I'm taking my clothes off for, you know. The first time. Worrying about whether my, you know, ass looks good and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's a horrible moment, isn't it? It is. Because now I know it's gone so far that, that nobody sees me nude, not even me anymore. Well, I think it's probably better to get to make sure that they're, you know, you've kind of got them hooked. Yeah. And also to do it in the dark the first few times. Yeah, candlelight's always nice. Really? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but you're hours on lighting going, okay, come well, in I now. Do. I do prepare the room, I actually. I light all the candles and turn the lights off. <clears throat> A couple of glasses of wine always, for, you know, always yeah. makes you look better, too. <laughs> so they're passed out by the time you've made your entrance. Well, their eyesight's a little bit fuzzy and blurry and, you know. And then what kind of person, I mean, do you, do you like a person who goes, oh, well, you know, you know, your stomach's hanging up, but I still like it, or do you like, you know, if somebody's so good looking, they're also going to take themselves seriously. So are you going now for the guy who's maybe not so good looking, but quite funny? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going for. You're going for that, good. I'm going for someone that has lots of humanity. Yeah. Compassion. And a lot of female and male in them, which is... You know, that's always good. Yeah. Did you always look for that, or has this just come with enlightenment? I think I unconsciously went for it. I couldn't put my finger on it. I couldn't say that's what I wanted, but I think that's what I instinctually wanted. Right. Yeah. And is it important that they're successful? <clears throat> um, yeah, but, but by successful, I mean just doing what they want to do with their life. Yeah. Right. Passionate about what they do. Could you love a plumber seriously? If he loved to, if he loved, loved his plumbing. If he's yeah, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Oh, I'm really glad to know that. Yeah. Why? Do you have a plumber you want to fix me up with? I have an AA guy, because Julie Walters, you know, something was wrong with her car, so she called automobile service. They came over and she married him. I mean, you find them in odd places. I Tell me about it. Yeah. The fire and department how? has some great looking guys. <laughs> I, I know. Had the fire department no, no, I've and seen I went, firemen driving around in trucks, and some of them have been really gorgeous. And, and do you ever think, oh, I wish I could talk to them? Mm -hmm. But it's hard for you, isn't it? Yeah, but sometimes I do. And can they get over it? Yeah. Really? You'd do you have surprised. to make the first move? Cause Always. I do. Yeah. Oh, back to the plumber. I just want to know about this, because I thought that was interesting. Okay. Do you mind that? Oh. So, okay, well, she already said that if you met somebody who was truly into being in, d does it bug you that, like, um, He's, he's going to feel like the wife eventually. I mean, how do you get over that one? Because you obviously know what's going on. You know how to... You he's, to well, is, that's what how I'm saying. How do you saying. get out of that? As long as he's got something that work that where he feels a sense of accomplishment, right. you know, and he's passionate about it, then I don't... I think that having a strong sense of self is going to keep you from feeling, you know, like you're the inferior person.